Hey guys, Corey again with another episode of Quarantine with Corey! Tonight, we got a special Bible edition. It's Sunday. We got First Chronicles. But before we get into that, I know last night I did my video eating a Hot Pocket. I know we got haters out there saying like, hey, Corey, like you got to set a better example. You got to eat healthier. Like that's not a very healthy snack. Well, hey, get off my back. Get off my back. I'm eating mixed berries right now, okay? Healthy snack. Mixed berries. So get off my back. Okay? First Chronicles. Chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 18. End at 22. The Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh had 44,760 men ready for military service. Able-bodied men who could handle shield and sword, who could use a bow, and who were trained for battle. They waged war against the Hagrites, Jeter, Nafish, and Nodab. I don't know if I said that all correct, so just give me a little grace. They were helped in fighting them. Listen to this right here. And God delivered the Hagrites and all their alloy allies into their hands because they cried out to him during battle. He answered their prayers because they trusted him. Let me ask you this right now. Are you going through a battle? I mean, we're all going through a little bit of battle with this coronavirus going on but you might be going through a more personal battle are you crying out to God are you asking him for help or are you trying to do it all on your own take lesson from these guys here man it was life and death and they chose to cry out to God and God answered their prayers. He delivered them because they trusted him. Now look at this part. It says they seized all this stuff. Livestock, 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep, and 2,000 and 2, donkeys. They also took 100,000 people captive and many others. Um, this sentence right here. Because the battle was God's. Because... The battle was God's. Whatever battle you're going through right now, it's not yours to fight alone. It's not yours to conquer by yourself. Make it God's battle. Because that's how these guys conquered. And that's how you will too. Cry out to God. Not only before the battle, not only after the battle, but during the battle. Whatever you were facing right now, God is has got your back. But you have to cry out to him. Make the battle his. Make the battle his. They conquered because the battle was God's. Your battle is God's battle. 